Switch me on. There's no time for a bench test. Heat him up. I have a radical idea. If the door swings both ways, we could reverse the particle flow through the gate. How? We'll cross the streams. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is a video update on the GP Star Haslab kit. Pre-orders are now live, so you can go ahead and email your orders. Michael and I just want to thank you all for very for waiting very patiently. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the details of all the kits and give you a general idea of the installation process and how everything fits together. This isn't a full step-by-step -step installation video, however, that will come out later on. The kits that we will be going through are the main kits, the speaker support kits, and two add-on kits. And just to note, going forward in this video, that unfortunately, I we did not receive all the components in time, so there will be some missing items. Um, but I'll fill those in with some images and parts that I have laying around the house that can stand in for those items. So just please keep that in mind that not everything you see in this video will be part of the final kit. First things first is the disclaimer. This kit will require you to do some irreversible modifications. So if you are interested in this kit, please proceed uh, at your own risk. There'll be more on this later on. Second thing are the required components that are not included as part of the kit that you need to buy on your own. This includes a speaker and amp combo or a Bluetooth speaker of some sort, external battery source, and you'll need two of these micro SD cards. Although it's up to you to decide, we do suggest you consider our recommendations as we built parts of the kit with these in mind. For the power requirements, the diesel batteries are not enough juice. The boards require five volts and the amps require 12 volts. Because of this, we strongly recommend the Talon cell battery. This is the 6,000 milliamp version. The 3000 milliamp version is preferred as its small size fits perfectly behind the power cell panel. Uh, make sure you get one with both a 5 volt and 12 volt output as you can easily plug in the two cables needed to power the devices. Ignore the wires here too. This is just, I opened this thing up. For audio, we use these 3 inch 15 watt speakers and a 15 watt amp. This is not the amp that is included. This is just um, a stand-in that I have. If you purchase this speaker and amp combo, then you can consider our speaker support kit where we include all the necessary wires, cables, and the 3D printed mounts. Uh, more on that later. Okay guys, moving on to the main kits. We offer up two variations. The one you see below here, minus the parts that I don't have, is the essential kit. And that includes the two main boards, of course, pack and the wand, a volume rotary encoder replacement, the two sound boards here. Um, they will come with pre-soldered housing and uh, the wires like this, and uh, there'll be a little terminal, uh, screw terminal block here instead of this thing. Um, that for the wand here, wand board, that will be for the speakers to screw into. And um, like I said, we didn't have all the components coming yet, but as a stand-in, you'll basically get a bunch of whatever cables like this that are necessary to connect everything together. This little thing called a cage, it's just a little housing for the wand, the wand board, um, and it will keep all the wires and everything together. This is a 3D printed panel replacement for your power cell compartment a programming cable to connect to the computer, 
and two toggle switches and these will have connectors coming out that you can plug into the pack board one will be for the direction switch and one will be for turning on and off the smoke kits that you might install i forgot to mention that we also include this usb a to jst battery connector this will connect your talent cell battery straight to the pack board moving down to the bottom here this is everything you see down here it, this is part of the hose so we will include a proper split loom hose here for you it's much more flexible and then the rigid one that comes stock these are the new trick connectors that will be installed on the wand end a 3d printed connector that will be combined with that and not shown on the other end that will go on to the other side of the hose is a clinko connector and that will connect to the pack and of course all the wires that will be necessary that go in along and ho in the hose into the one handle out into the pack that will all be included anything that needs to be soldered is already soldered anything that doesn't it will be left up to you to um, screw together now moving on this is the bare basic kit this kit is meant for people who know how to solder and plan have plans to use their own custom hose everything else uh, that i mentioned before is the same the main difference is that on the wave trigger the aforementioned housings and wires and terminal blocks these will not be soldered on you'll have to solder those on yourself which shouldn't take too long in addition to that if you look here where it says 5v there are two pads that you can't see underneath and they need to be joined together so a, a dab of solder needs to be dropped on it just like i did what that does i believe it enables this five in pin here to be active once that solder is on do not use this dc barrel jack to power this board actually regardless of which kit you get do not use this dc barrel jack anymore and this thing if you plug that in that might mess things up so do not use that and then on the one side it's the same as the packs except that you also need to remove the auxiliary port here let me put it closer yeah, as you can see, you need to pry that off, and as well as a DC barrel jack. Pretty simple, just, I think I used tweezers and pliers to do it. The reason being is there's not much space in the wand, and so we need to like t use up whatever space we can get. And then on the hose side of things, as you see, we do not offer up the loom hose or any of the connectors. We'll just give you the wires that are needed. Um, not all the wires here are shown, but here just as a stand-in example. That is what we'll give you. And then whatever hose you have yourself, you can just slide these in and connect them, solder them, whatever, do that yourself. And yeah, that's basically the two kits. Now we're gonna give you a quick run through of how everything looks when it's installed together. And also I'm gonna show you what needs to be modified. This isn't in the installation video that will come out later on. I'm just gonna try to speed run through everything to give you guys an idea of how it looks. Um, so for the pack, this is gonna be the easiest Part of the install this the motherboard just you know take out all the screws and whatnot and that comes off easily that will be plugged into the board all you gotta do is unplug that and put that aside um moving closer you'll see that the main board is situated up here you'll just have to remove all these cables like i did they they're just plugged in just have to unplug them the board will be screwed in so you just need to remove two screws and it'll come out and of course uh yeah, everything's already unscrewed here, but you just have to unscrew the volume connector, um, the speaker, and the mounts. So that all comes out. You'll want to save the screws that come with the speaker mounts here because we'll be using that on our own later on. And once that's done, we pop in our own board. And it should slot in, yep, there you go, exactly where the old one was. The rotary encoder, that will go right here, like this. And then all the existing wires plug right back in. The wave trigger uh, will give you a double-sided tape, and that can probably, I think, believe sits right there. And then the cables that we provide, you can connect it to wherever it needs to go. So that's pretty much the pack. Very easy as you can see. Okay, for the wand, it would be a little bit trickier. On the left here is a unmodified one. 
and on the right is one that I already worked on. So you'll have to take this off and you can see that there are these little circles here. These are little pegs. These will need to come off. Your first major modification is screwing into those and pu pulling them out. And that you know, this is basically how it looks once I once you kind of wreck it and you know you screw something in and pull it right out. Come, looks like that. And that's because you need to get access to four screws that will be inside. Once you unscrew those, that comes off. A few more screws here, 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 and I believe there. And that opens up your wand. So those are your first irreversible modifications. The installation of the wand is a little trickier, other than a few connectors that you can just simply pull out. Most of the wires are soldered right onto the board, unfortunately. However, there are two solutions. You can either desolder them, or if you don't want to solder or know how to solder, you can simply just snip these off and then use some wire cutters, strip the ends, and then just twist the stranded wires together, making sure they're nice and tight and don't fray. The other solution is to use a soldering iron to desolder these wires. And I just really want to say for you guys who don't know how to solder, I encourage you to try because all you really need to do is desolder wires. You're not actually doing any soldering. You're, and then in this entire kit, this is the only time you'll be using a soldering iron. So I really encourage you, I know if you're afraid um, to take a step and try this out because it'll make it a lot easier. Um, basically, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna like push against the board and I'm, just, I'm actually pulling on the wire just very lightly. Um, and I'm just gonna, uh, once you heat up your solder, it takes a few minutes, I'm just gonna apply it to the back here. And then once it liquefies, the wire should, I'm just gonna pull a little bit more and yep, look at that, it just pops right out. Another benefit of this method is that um, you know, you don't have to cut the wires and shorten them. You know, if you make a mistake, you have to keep cutting lower and lower. And as you can see, these aren't very long. And when you pull them out via the solder method, there is a bit of solder that's stuck to the ends here. So look, it's already, um, all the little wires are already joined up. You don't need to twist it. You don't need to worry about it fraying. And it's all, it's all done. And that's it. I promise you, that's it. For this kit, that's all the soldering you will need to do. The next step, and the probably the most difficult part of the modification that you need to do the wand, is right down in there, I already have rise running through so you can't really see, you're going to have to take a drill and drill a hole in there. And you're going to have to drill it at an angle similar to where how this wire, these wires are running. You have to go in like that. And that hole will go right into the handle around here, and that way you can run the wires through and out the end, yeah. I think that's the most difficult part. I actually let you know, guys know, I made a lot of mistakes when I did the installation of this wand. And that and that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing because I made a mistake so that when I do an installation video for you guys, you guys know what to look out for and you guys won't make the same mistakes I did. Once that's done, we can start with the installation of the wand board. As you see, there are many connectors. So a lot of the existing connectors here can plug right in. For all the, these wires, they simply use these screw terminals here. Here's an example of how um, this wand will look with everything installed with the cage. The purpose of this is to clear this here. So all the wires are all snug inside. Everything is nice and solid. And we test it out, yep, the barrel clears. And that's the most important thing. And the weight trigger, it just sits right on top here. Oops, I should go this way. Still clears. Oh, looks like it snags a little bit on one of my custom cables there. Yeah. There you go. I think this wand, the wand version I have here is not very good because I don't know if it's made faulty, but it kind of hits the speaker. Does anyone else have that problem? My other wand doesn't do this. It's only this one. It's really weird. After that, all you have to do is just kind of yeah, pack it back up, close it up, and you're good to go. Now for the hose, it will be disassembled uh, when you get the kit. I know I, I put it together quickly here just for demonstration, but when you receive the kit, it will be disassembled. It's a very easy to assemble kit, so don't worry about that. But the reason being is that, um, you know, I've seen all sorts of different types of hoses out there that people have done. You know, everyone's got their own 
idea of how screen accurate they want to be. For example, this is not for sale. Uh, we're, we're not selling this kit, but I bought this. This is not an official Herbert Cooper breather hose like in the movie. I just bought a cheaper one off eBay. This, I think, was $17 Canadian. So, yeah, I plan to, you know, cut the loom shorter. Um, I haven't bought a fuse line hose yet from Home Depot. I plan to install that. I plan to cut this. And for me, I'm happy. It doesn't need to be super screen accurate. For you guys, once you have finished your, your hose assembly, whatever custom hose you want to do, you're going to want to take the long wires and you run that through the pack here. On the, on the end here, not shown, will be the, the Clinko connector here. That will be soldered onto these wires already. And then on the other end, there'll be the female um, connector with connecting wires like this that go out and into the pack. So as you see here, I remove the stock pack connector here and, and the wire. You won't need this anymore. You can get rid of that. And inside, you just run these wires through inside and connect it to the board. Electrical tape will do the job of connecting the, link, uh, the Clinko. And then going up the hose to the other end here. This is the new trick connector. Um, this one will not be soldered on because these have screw terminals, as you see I've done here. Yeah, same with the other side. You just, I can't do right now, but you're going to have to use a lot of electrical tape to wrap those together. And that will connect to this. Um, okay, I'm going to show you here real quickly. I bought the wrong one for me personally. I bought this when I it, this was still a DIY kit before me and Michael decided to make this into a kit for you guys. But the ones that you'll get will have screw terminals similar to this one in here. And then for the, so you're gonna need to run the wires from the body of the wand through the handle out and then screw in the wires to this here. And of course, this square piece here will be shaved off when you get it. it will, this will be round and that will fit perfectly into this connector. And then at the bottom, there will be a hole where you can put in a grub screw to hold these together. And that will just screw into the end cap here. And then this just plugs into there. Plug goes in, twists and locks. And it will look something like this. And I know this one is not the screen actor one. They actually discontinued that one. Um, and that one is only three pin. This is a four pin. But what you can do is if you do have the screen acro version, you can actually take out the inside. You need a Dremel or something to shave off some plastic. And that can you can use the inside part of that and fit it right into the screen acro version. So that's all up to you. I, I'm personally, I'm fine with this one. I think this one looks good enough for me. And yeah, so that's it for the hose. For the panel, you're going to want to basically remove the existing one here. Um, there are two screws. I already took them off, but there are two screws here and here. You're gonna take those off and then it just slides out. That Telecell 3000 milliamp talent cell battery can fit right in here. But the only thing is you're gonna need to do is break this one off. You take the, the 3D printed one we provide you and I'll just go, yeah, this goes right in there. And then so now you can access the battery through the boards here, the hole here, sorry. And then the wires will come out through this hole back in and it'll connect to the amp and the board. And then the program, programming cable can come out through here uh, like so. Uh, the programming cable can just come out and this will plug into your computer. Now, this is for any future software updates. This is how you reprogram your board. Also, we there's a config file that you can customize things to your liking. And once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to plug your disc back in and reflash your boards. So that's what that's for. And of course, the two little holes here were meant for the toggle switches. And that's it for the panel. Next is the speaker support kit. This is designed about around the recommended speaker and amp that we, um, yeah, that we have been using this whole time. Uh, once again, this is not the amp that you'll be getting. This is just a stand-in. I don't have the actual amp right here. But the most important thing is these three speakers. You'll need a round ones that look like this. So I'm going to put these aside for now. So not to confuse on what's included in this kit. Um, the first thing is not shown here. There will be some speaker wires. 
not these ones, but there will be some speaker wires that will plug right into these terminals here. And then the other end will plug into the amp. DC battery cable here. This goes into your talent cell battery. The other end screws into the amp. Auxiliary cable. This connects to the amp and the wave trigger. And some 3D printed mounts, which I will demonstrate on how it will look. Installing the mount, something like it'll look something like this. This bottom piece goes here. This one slots here. And then there'll be a top piece like this. And then the top speaker should just slot in there like that. This one will be placed in like this. And I don't have it printed yet, but there will be another top piece similar to this one here that will go right here. In terms of modifications for the motherboard, there are two little tabs like this. I lost the other one, but you're gonna have to break those off. We don't need them anymore. And then, oops, for here, you're gonna need to move this strap cover here. So that, that just unscrews. And finally, to the first add-on kit that we're releasing, this is the Inner Cyclotron LED kit. You're gonna get a 35 LED ring like this one. This this is not it, this is a 24 ring. I just don't have a 35 one yet, but it's gonna look something like this. And it'll have wires and a connector. And that will go into the stock kit here. That, or if you have a 3D printed replacement one, whichever, it's all the same. Um, what's also not shown here is a guitar pick. That's what you're going to use to kind of, you know, try to pry off the top lid. You just got to go inside along the edge, just break off the glue to remove the top, um, top lid. Uh, you're going to have to drill a hole right here. And that should just drop right in with the wires coming out and plug right into the pack board. And then over here is the replacement panel. So this is a 3D printed panel and it'll come with all the clip lights. Those will pop right in there. And then there'll be the LEDs and these will have wires and connectors that go right into the board as well. Very easy install for this kit here. And last but not least, the bar graph add-on kit. These are being sold by Fruto Technology out in the UK. We have partnered up with them and they will be the ones handling orders for our main kits and everything else for UK customers. Personally, I am most excited about this add-on kit. The bar graph just looks amazing. It's, it's, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's, uh, it's unreal. I wish I had one here to show you guys and what it might, the installation process might look like, but unfortunately I don't. But I do know that it just kind of have to snap off some of the plastic that's in the way and that will allow clearance for you to just simply pop it in. It's very easy to install after that. If you wish to purchase these and you're in North America, the EU uh, world and the rest of the world, you can place the order through Fruto Technology. And so long as you're ordering a one of our main kits, then you can choose a shipping option that will allow $0 shipping. And what they will do is send the, send the parts to us and we'll just include it as part of the main kit. So you can save on shipping with that. And that's it for our video. All the kits that you have seen so far are available right now for pre-order. But just to let you know that that is not the full extent of the kit's um, capabilities. Michael did design this board with expansion in mind. So for example, as you can see in this video, he installed a couple of hat light LEDs to his wand and one to the tip of the barrel. But if you do have the know-how, you can do this yourself. It's an open source kind of kit. I know that smoke kit is also very popular. This does allow for a smoke kit to be installed. If you want to check out Michael's GitHub, he does have a list of the parts that you can just buy yourself and some instructions on how to install it. So that's it. Good luck with the pre-orders, everyone. If you want to find us, you can catch us on GB Fan forums. You can email us through our website or where we're most active is on our Facebook group. That's where most of our updates and engagements will be. So thank you for watching and God bless.